Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to change the sale order sequence in Odoo SMT. In Odoo, a sequence number is a unique identifier assigned to records within a particular model or document type. Sequence numbers are used to ensure that each record has a distinct and sequential identification. So in order to manage with the sequences, first we have to enable the developer mode which you can be easily identify using the debug symbol on the right top of the Odoo platform home screen. Now you can search for the sequences from the home screen itself where you can just um, go with the sequences. So here we're going to manage with the sequence number for the sale order. So I have just set the priority for the sequences of the sale order where you can choose the um, yeah, sequences of the sale order. So first we have to provide the name. Uh, so we will be providing the name as sale order because we are going to manage with the sequences of the sale order. As we are going to manage with the um, sequences of the sale order, we have to provide a sequence code which is shown here. So if you want to manage with different models, you have to provide the correct model code over here. That is the sequence of sequence code of the uh, model so here we are going to deal with uh, sale order that's why we have given sale order over here now um, the company cybros is made to create the sale orders with a prefix of cybro which i have given here and the sequence uh, size must be two okay and they must uh, need to identify um, the sequence number of a particular date so that we can use some legends over here so if you want to find the uh, date of the created quotation or the sale order you can use this which is uh, taken from this area like we can give an, uh, give it as a prefix or suffix so you will get the day and you can use the other equation which is uh, to get the month and you can also use um, yeah a percentage year uh, to get the current year now the uh, step of incrementation will be one which means if we are creating a quotation or sale order then uh, the quotation or sale order will have a sequence of cybro01 and with the current date of the day and uh, cybros has also uh, has given a constraint of using subsequent date range which means that suppose cybrosis is going to create a sale order or quotation for the month of december so in such cases we have to start the sequences with 0 1 range so you can set the limit so as we want to get the sequences with a month you can just start uh, give the start date of the month and end date of the month and you can also set the next number that is the starting number afterwards the increment step of the number and we can uh, give the number of months that you want to uh, give the sequences with the uh, subsequent date range so here i'll be providing two months which is november and uh, december so in case of november and december cybrosis need to find the number of sales order or the quotations that they have generated for each month and the sequences must start uh, for with zero one for each of the month so we can tackle the situation easily in odo okay so let's move on to the sales module and let's see how we gonna manage with the sequence number in Odo. So let's create a new quotation. Here you can fill out the details of the customer where I'm going to first create a quotation in the month of December where you can see the quotation date will be automatically set by Odo. And here you can also um, give the product details uh, which is cabinet with door. Afterwards you can just save this. So once you save this you can see that Odo has generated a sequence with the prefix that we have given along with the date range okay so here you can see that we have just generated a sequence with the prefix cybro with a sequence um, size of 0 1 because we have just given it as a uh, 2 so uh, and that will be uh, starting with a sequence of 0 1 and here you can also identify the date of the quotation so that the company could easily identify when that quotation or sale order is generated. Okay, so if you just duplicate this, you can see the um, sequence will be incremented. Again, if you duplicate, you can see that the sequence will be again incremented. So, uh, 
when you just move on with the um, yeah creation of the quotation or sale order, you can uh, see the further increment in the number of sequence. Okay, so as you just move on to the sequences again, here I'll show you the thing that um, yeah. Now if the sequence size is just changed into five because um, now if you can see we have just created. I mean, sorry, this is not the one. So here you can see that the next number is set to 5 because we have generated 4 um, yeah, quotations. So that the next will be incremented and set to 5. That's why uh, it's shown as next number as 5. Now let's create another um, quotation in the month of number and see the difference. Okay, so uh, here let me create a new quotation. Let's fill out the details. So here you can choose a customer and product. Let it be um, cabinet with door itself. And you have to set the date manually because um, we know number um, is a past month which is already finished. Right. So here I'm going to set the quotation date. And we also need to set the expiration date of the quotation. Okay. So let me set it as the last date of number where you can save this. So as you just save this, you can see that the um, yeah quotation sequence is again starting from 0, 01 because we have set the rule in such a way to get the subsequent date range with the start number of the sequence must be 1. But here we can find a difference uh, that the month of the sequence is not changing. This is because we know number is a past month and we are currently going with the uh, month December or presently we are in the month December and we are creating a quotation for the previous month. So in such cases, uh, order will generate the sequences with the sequence of 0, 1 but the there won't be any change in the um, month. This is because we have just uh, given the current month. Like uh, we have given uh, the current month as of the suffix equation. So, uh, in order to find uh, the quotation with a particular date, you also need to consider the date and expiration date. Okay. So, uh, this is how we manage with the sequences in Odoo uh, 17, which would give a unique identification for each of the quotation. So, hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.